Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 17th of April, Wednesday of the week of Easter 3, J-F-O-O-H-L, 1850-1941. Protestantism does not give painting and sculpture the same place in its cultus that was and is accorded those arts in the cultus of the Roman and Greek churches, for it knows no picture and image worship. Zwingli and others, for the sake of saving the word, rejected all plastic art. Luther, with an equal concern for the word, but far more conservative would have all art to be the servants of the gospel. I am not of the opinion, said he, that through the gospel all the art should be banished and driven away as some zealots want to make us believe, but I wish to see them all, especially music, in the service of him who gave and created them. Again, he says, I have myself heard those who oppose pictures read from my German Bible but this contains many pictures of God, of the angels, of men, of animals, especially in the revelation of St. John, in the books of Moses, in the book of Joshua. We therefore kindly beg these fanatics to permit us also to paint these pictures on the wall that they might be remembered and better stood in as much as they can harm as little on the wall as in the books. And from the Lutheran Book of Worship, 1978, O God of majesty, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be with your servants who make art and music for your people that with joy on earth we may glimpse your beauty and bring us to the fulfillment of that hope of perfection which will be ours as we stand before your unveiled glory. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.